you, Grandpa Duncan. Did you see that guy over there? He helped us take our ball of the tree. Oh, Malcolm and Madonna. Um, did he really? Wow, that's so nice of him. Did you give him something? I think you should. He really deserves it. You know what? You're right, Malcolm. Thanks. Well, all right, kids. I'll see you. Bye, Malcolm. Hey you! Over there! So, you help my grandkids? Those kids with the weird extreme wrist thing? Uh, I guess. I kind of sleep by that tree, so... Wow. Oh, you helped him. Right, right. Well, I got something for you. The sign for my appreciation. Take this to this. Wow. Thank you. Thanks, man. No problem. Y'all have a good day now. I don't remember helping those kids at all. I still have their frisbee. This is a story of Macbeth, the homeless dude living in this park. He's gonna be like a king in this really cool place and he's gonna get the best bench. Uh, yeah, no, it's not gonna work. Definitely not a track for the mixtape. Uh, maybe if we just change these lines a little bit. There you go. Alright, let's try this again. This is a story of Banquo. A homeless dude living in this park. He's not gonna live like a king in this really cool place, but his descendants will get the best bench. Alright, that's much better. Alright. Uh, it's hot, man. So I think this is gonna be my best mixtape yet. I, I mean, it's only my first mixtape, but I think it's gonna do real well. Like top ten on the Billboard charts, you know. It's just me and my guitar right here. That's all me and a real musician will ever need. You should buy my mixtape. It's called Fire. What the heck was that? Is this mixtape even fire? Why would, why would he put that on his mixtape? That's like so early 2000s. But why do you even use my name? Does he even know my name? Last time I checked, Macbeth wasn't popular. I don't think it's on one of those baby name websites. When did my name become something to use on a hot track? I don't know. I'm gonna go pee next to that empty bench over here. Words cannot describe how much I hate this. On a scale of 1 to 10, of how much I hate dogs, it'd be a K9. <laughs> hey! <laughs> uh, what's up, guys? Where's Duncan? He's supposed to meet us here today. We're supposed to get more good. Dun Duncan? No, no. Who's, uh, he's, I'm not, uh, who, where's Duncan? Obviously, we know you're not Duncan. We've seen it before, and he dresses nicer than you. Thanks. Why are you here? This is Duncan's bench. 
I'm pretty sure Duncan doesn't own this bench. I mean, who sleeps here now? Me. Doesn't give me more right to it. This is where Duncan gives us our goods. It's his bench. Oh, what? So a guy gives you free stuff and then he gets rights of public property? Belongs more to him than to you. So what? If I give you guys free stuff, does that make it my bench? Yes, it would. Do you have anything? Well, uh... No. Wow, what a complete waste of time. This guy is whack. Come on, let's go. And you, you better be gone by the time Duncan gets back. Wow, can you believe this guy? Thinking that he controls and can take over a bench? It's Duncan's bench. I mean, I go there all the time to get goods from Duncan. Not this lousy, stupid dressed guy. I don't know what their problem is. Duncan's gone. It's not like he's coming back anyways. Wow! Can you believe that? You'd best be away from this bench. As if this is my bench. That street performer's song said this bench would be mine anyways. I mean, Duncan was a nice guy. He gave out clothes and stuff. But you scared him pretty good. So I don't think we'll see him again. This is stupid. Oh yeah, man, you said it. Who said that? Who else? Over here. That's not you, right? Who else would it be? I've been talking since I could walk. This entire time I've been talking, you just ignored me. It's about time you started talking back. I've never heard you talk before. Wow, this is a weird week. First the weird guitar dude, then Duncan running away, and all these weird fanboys trying to attack me. Well, I have nothing to say about the performer dude aside from the fact that he was really bad. But the other guys, the Duncan fanboys, you have nothing to worry about. They're no threat. What are they gonna do, attack you with sticks? Well... No, 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 no. It's Banquo you have to worry about. You remember the song? Uh, and he's not gonna be king of this really cool place, but his descendants are gonna get the best bench. Banquo? Is that what you think? Is he trying to steal my bench for his kids? He doesn't even have kids yet. Well, I mean, he obviously will if the guitar guy is right about it. Maybe he's been shaking the bacon, no. if you know what I mean. Please don't say that. <laughs> That's disgusting. You're, you're a dog. Don't say that. Why would you say that? I'm just putting it out there, you don't need to get angry about it, but I mean, I think you're spot on. Bankful's probably trying to run you out of this place for his kids, and I mean, could you blame him? It's in a really nice area, it's a good distance from the pond, from the burger joint. You don't think Banco would try to run me out of here, right? Of course I do. I'm an intellectual being, I can form my own opinions, and I think Banquo is a threat that needs to be eliminated. Heavy talk coming from a dog. But I'm right. The guitar guy's been right. Don't think you and your shiny new bench are all nice and safe because Duncan's gone. Banquo's gonna try to take it from you if you don't stop him first. That means I gotta get rid of him though. I gotta get him out of here if he wants my bench. Damn right he does. You best start preparing for a war because he's not gonna go down without a fight. You guys get rid of Banco in any way you can, and I'll start paying you guys with some stuff I got from the park. So we get rid of Banco, whatever way. So we get rid of Banco, whatever way you want, right? Right. Any way you guys can that doesn't involve me. Wait, but aren't you paying us? So technically you are involved. <sighs> I didn't think I knew that. Shut up, both of you. We're making a transaction, but I'm not involved if anyone asks. Yeah, that would be stupid. He said not to involve him, so involve other people. No, no, don't involve anybody else. Don't involve me, and especially not anybody else. You sure pick some good ones. Oh, okay, okay. I got it. We got it. So us two get the job done. We won't tell anybody, McBeezy, sir. <sighs> it's Macbeth. Really? I'm so sorry. 
Well, we better get going. We'll take care of Banquo. Take care of him? I thought we were going to get rid of him, not babysit him. I don't know if I can trust these guys. Let's hope they get the job done. But the guy said something funny about this McTuff guy. They said he could get a bit McRuff. And his stage name is MC Duff. It's McDuff. I never heard of a McDuff. What else did he say? Well, before this one stuck a dirty rag in his mouth, he said something about a McDuff coming to right your wrongs or something. He was annoying and loud. To the rag dump. Then we dumped him in the back of a pickup truck with a Colorado license plate. Yeah, you guys like my new uh, my new sweater? I found it in the back of the truck on my way to Colorado. It's actually pretty cold in there. I should probably call it Colorado. Yeah, he could use a vacation. But how could Banco know I was behind this? Why would Mick Duff be coming for me? Well, somebody let it slip that you'd be so happy to hear that we'd done it. Sorry. Well, Banco then. He must be in, what do they call it, cahoots? Uh, must be in cahoots with this McDuff guy. Yeah, sounds like they beat you or something. Or at least Banco does now. Makes sense, the guy wasn't dressed for Colorado weather. Oh, yeah, uh, he got some news for you. Some bad news. Uh, so, your dog, that's the one with the black coat, right? Yeah, she's been gone for a while. It's dead. Sorry. It's out in the middle of the road. Way to put it lightly. Oh. That's awful. Hey! Ah, <laughs> oh, sweet free hat! supposed to be? Nice pizza. Had enough? Because now, I'm about to play rough. Life is gonna be tough when you step in front of McDuff. <laughs> yeah. Sure, that's your name, McDick. <laughs> that's rich. Well, tides are about to turn now. I'll be making the switch. Uh, you, you, you may be scared. Well, maybe you ought to ditch. Cause I'm gonna mess things up for you, bitch. And how do you know my name exactly? Your homie Bankle came to my house and we ate grapes. He was telling me stories about a street performer with mixed tapes. Thanks for answering my question, Mac douche. How would Banquo even know about that mixtape if he wasn't there when that shitty street performer was spitting out them sick rhymes? You see, the mixtape the street performer is releasing, that's not her first. Well, that is, but you know what I think? I think it's the worst. But Banquo heard it though, because that's something he wouldn't miss. After hearing a story about a bench taken over by his kids. Banco didn't even have any kids. You know, you should kind of start sweating it. Because you never know. He could have been getting it. Uh, please don't finish that line. How do you even know Banco? Well, that's because Banco makes friends with people, not a pet. He's got more friends than all you can get. That's because he was homies with my grandfather. Do you want to bet? 
your your grandfather? Oh, shit. Yeah, that's right. Duncan, the nice old guy, the one that you scared off in the park with the dog, made him run and cry. Now my bro Malcolm can't get out of the house because he'll say no. Now he's scared of dogs now. Way to go. <laughs> that doesn't tell me anything. Why are you here? Well, Macbeth, can't you tell? I mean, Banco and my grandpa Duncan, they're not feeling very well. And for that, I'm gonna make your life a living hell. <laughs> Real funny, kiddo. Now, bring me my end. Well, if that didn't work, then maybe uh, my fist will. Uh, <laughs> Your time is up. My time is now. How could this be happening? I didn't think that was possible! Oh, Macbeth. I thought you knew. I did say I was gonna end you. No, no, Macbeth. You don't get the point. You see? Battle for this bench, I have won. So why don't you just go along and run? Fine, then. Me dick! <laughs> Don't fight people that can rhyme like fire.